Hey, Sad G Baby. Hope everything is well and you know what to do. If it's not, cash out me or PayPal. And I'm going to tell you this real quick before we get into the NG. And I really hope this helps your heart. You know, I met this guy at the grocery store and I was busy. You know, kind of in a rush. But the point is, he was telling me that he was retired. And then not even seconds because the conversation wasn't long. I was in a rush. He was telling me that he was retired. And then he started describing, because I told him, well, I'm going to get my oil changed and get my car registered. I have things to do. He said, well, let me tell you what I, I do, you know, because I told him I do videos and stuff. He said, well, he started describing what he do. I said, you a security guard? And he looked at me. I told him I do videos, but I didn't tell him I was a psyche, right? So he said, oh, I bet you think I've been lying, huh? I said, no, it's not about, it's not that you're lying. It's, you're indirect. I asked you what's your zodiac sign. He didn't want to answer me. Because he was telling me he do all these things. You know, you're like, wow, what the fuck? You know, you would really expect that from like an earth or water energy when you, from my perspective. He wouldn't tell me. But the point is, he wanted to tell me things that was lies. So, I hope this helped your heart to know that. What it is, is even when he's alone, even when she's alone, she doesn't admit to herself she's a bad mother. She doesn't admit to herself that she's not. She might know she don't like her job, but you might not know that these people are uh, embarrassed or ashamed to even admit when they're by themselves the life they're living. Because he doesn't know I used to do security for years. I love fucking security. I've gotten to be in skyboxes. I've escorted Senior Bush one deep with his security, his secret agents to the opera building. I have met the congressman twice. We've taken pictures. I've worked in beautiful, important places doing security. I worked for the city doing uh, sports events. Like, I worked with some pretty big companies. So it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's all about you comparing yourself to people or people comparing themselves to you because people don't have a lot of respect for security guards. But what security guard you know not getting their fucking bills paid? And that's one of the number one reasons why I joined. I've even met homeless people that got their lives together off security. Huh. So my point is, it's no longer lies they're telling you. These people have a personality disorder, and they've been doing it. They've been moving, talking, and walking all through emotions, not facts. Because normal functioning people would do something about something they are embarrassed or ashamed of, not hide it. And then the things that they do that they embarrass and ashamed of, you know they're going to keep doing it. That's why they hide it. So even though I'm embarrassed and ashamed of being at this job, I'm going to still lie about it and I'm going to still keep going to something I'm embarrassed and ashamed about. So it's now no longer lies they're telling you. It's a disorder. It's indirect. They've cursed themselves where they can't even be direct with themselves. So stop or don't take it personal when you think someone's been lying to you or this person. Change the dynamic. That's what we need to activate. Hello? It's a beautiful fucking thing. Set you free. Sacral chakra. Hmm. Orange. What you feel in your gut. No, that's not your gut then. This your heart. This your sacral chakra. So I guess this would be below your gut. Sacred chakra, the orange flower of life, supports the ability to flow with our desires. Desire. The genitalia area, Scorpio energy, stimulates our creativity power and manifests success and abundance in our lives. Whether we're having kids or not, earth energy. Deep connection to the physical planes by showing us the beauty of the aspects of our great mother and the revealing 
in revealing the more eternal spiritual aspects of nature. Romantic feelings, romantic love. Changing the dynamic, put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and great joy. He said he had a good time talking to me. It's not that you're lying. You just got to be honest with yourself. And we know that's hard for people. So be happy with yourself if you can be honest with yourself and not move with emotions. Or maybe you're not aware that you move with emotions. That's why you're not making the strong decisions that you see other people do and can do. It's all good, boo, but it's a, it's a must. So let's see what's the current energy. Let's see what people should be asking themselves or what you need to ask yourself, self, current energy, honey, 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 independence, independence and self-realization that this shit has no value, these people, when they can't be direct, they have, it's not about that they're no good and they have no value, they probably put other people before them, which means they worry about what people think, 14, that's 15 pinnacles out here, yeah. Either a change that's already in motion or one that needs to be made. These people in their earth energy. You see all this out here is earth. What situation in your life no longer holds value? These two came, this came up right, but you know these two came in reverse. But you're looking at what holds value to you, but you got your back to it. Because, yes, it's helpful information. It frees you. And you're learning something on the regular. You're learning that people with in this earth do not move with slow and determination. They're not going to change it. They're just going to cover shit up. And that becomes the personality disorder. It's no more, it's no longer lies any fucking more. It's a disorder. Five, something that's not changing that needs to change in a big fucking way. And it could be with this earth energy. What we got out here, Scorp uh, we got all signs. Excuse me, not Scorpio, but um, I'm so used to saying water, earth energy. Virgo, Taurus in reverse. Virgo making good judgments. Or have some kind of self-realization. Taurus still has no value. Uh, whatever they're doing, it doesn't have to be this energy. It could just be, be people in this energy in the world, on the earth. Capricorn in reverse. They temptation. Capricorn. How they get money. How they live their life. To look like they're important when they're not. Wanting validation from people. Gives them no value with this Taurus energy. Push that bull on his fucking back because he can't move and maneuver like a bull do and not give a fuck about what people think. Virgo always worrying about trying to be perfect or worrying about what, how other people look in reverse. Yeah. You're not going through a power struggle with the communication. You see, whatever they think is dominance with this Aquarius energy, they really think they know what they're talking about, and they don't. Or they really think that they're just lying when it's a disorder. It's way more uh, important than that. So, what situation in your life no longer holds value in the reverse? This person, <laughs> this mother-father figure, Regardless if it's a baby mama or baby daddy energy, they're not going through a power struggle that they have what? Towards no value or that they wrong and they know they wrong because even when the Tauruses know they wrong, they still won't admit that they wrong when they're in low vibration. Stubborn bull. So it ain't no power struggle no more. They holding value to what? If five is in reverse, if they have no value, 
<laughs> maybe they felt like, maybe this person felt like they were just telling lies when they really have a disorder. Maybe they've labeled that they have NPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Now it's not a power struggle. Maybe this person knew they was a narcissist and didn't know how crucial it fucking was. <laughs> Someone need to make a decision. What's, what is being closed off or blocked out of your reality? These people both are in reality. <laughs> Did you put them in reality? No power struggle. That their relationship, Libra, are balanced? That they're not fair to people? Are they kids? Are in their relationship? They're blocked? All their lives are exposed? So now this person cannot no longer lie to him or herself. Thanks to me, what holds value? Them watching you. What holds value? Them seeing that you walk it like you talk it. That's what they see in the value. They're watching you. You showing this bitch they have no opportunities in life. They just a page of pinnacles in reverse. They have no love. They don't use their intuition. And like we said, like with lies, bitch, you have a disorder. Whatever you think love is, whatever reason you got with this divine masculine that's in low vibration, whatever reason it was, bitch, now you see it was stupid. It was pointless to sit there and lie about a job or lie about where you going and what you doing when you grown or when you all you have to do is change it. Do something about it. So they in reality that the relationship has no love and that the opportunities they were seeking ain't never coming. But they still holding value to shit that has no value. <laughs> This bitch still talking shit. That's six pinnacles. They reflecting how they don't have a power struggle. We all got the same 24 hours in a day. So why the fuck aren't you doing anything? They're making excuses. They're lying when it's not lies. They have a disorder. It's deeper than that. So, regardless if this person wants to lie to themselves or not, it ain't no power struggle no more. Because you made sure this bitch knew what it was. I don't want him or her. This bitch has no value. That's why they with you. You thought you was winning or you thought you had a come up? Yeah. What is this? This person over here talking shit. Because they have no opportunities or they not getting love or they don't know how to use their intuition. Or the people in places that they choose to go ain't about shit. Not bringing them no green, no new beginnings. They come in reverse. And where they communicate, they trying to reflect love with this six. But everybody know they lies. So this person trying to act like they, this woman is trying to act like she has value with this man. But everybody knows that they don't. They trying to communicate with this Gemini that they have a happy relationship, but they have nothing. They have nothing. This could be your person, a page. They have no love and don't use their intuition and still doing the dumb shit. And that's what they don't hold value to. Being broke. Nothing changing with this five. <laughs> oh. What painful aspect of your life? Are you focus on and what positive aspects are you not seeing? Boom! You see the positive aspects in your life. Five, another five. You don't need to change the people and places you're going because regardless if this five is in reverse, you can't control how these people want to live or what they choose to not deal with. 
or be honest with themselves about. Can't that's not that's not out of your control. So this could be at a job where you just want to get the money and get these bitches out your face, or you just want to relate to people that's relating to you. You can't change people. You accept people for how they are. If they in a shitty relationship, it ain't for you to judge. That's just basically the overall energy. Most people are in shitty relationships. Communication in reverse. Of course, communication is in reverse with these people. But, and even this uh, Scorpio energy is in reverse. They not seeing the positive aspects of their life because all their lives are exposed. So I guess they decided to stay. It's kind of like you got STD. I got STD. We both can't get rid of. So we might as well stay together. You got to understand that's a lot of, that's a, one of the re, one of the reasons, excuse me, why a lot of people stay in long-term relationships. Either they financially can't move or they both have a STD or AIDS or a disease they both can't get rid of, so they stay together. And that's when you see them about to kill each other and break each other's neck, and you be wondering why they so disrespectful and nasty to each other because they both know they ain't got, they can't go nowhere. Yeah, they didn't review everything about what they hold in value to, even now, boo. So this person trying to prove people wrong or prove you wrong by them staying in a relationship. But if you've been creeping up with me, this person knows that your person want to leave. This person knows why you are a better pick. <laughs> so your person know they can't come expo uh, come to you because all their lives are being exposed. So everybody know that this person's on the down low. Everybody knows that they broke and they use men and women for money. Everybody know that they just stand with this karma because they have nowhere to go. Everybody knows that regardless if this person went into this relationship to actually want to live there and be there. It was all because they was uh, thinking that they was going to be having some kind of leadership and running game on the lane. So you had two people in the relationship that don't know shit about even stability and security. We already had talked about that because they really don't like each other. They don't respect each other. So they don't listen to each other to even build a foundation. Yeah, let's see what's going on with this Knight of Pentacles that ain't saying shit. They ain't saying nothing. This Knight ain't delivering anything. Yeah, but they can't let go. <laughs> So this person not only is valuing your person, so your person probably, people know they ain't shit. And when you try to build them up or try to help them or try to change them or try to understand them and you don't know that they really just blowing smoke up your ass, you don't want to look stupid. And I feel like this is what this karmic is doing. They not reviewing everything. Which means... They don't know that your person wants to come to you fast. They want to come fast. This knight really wants to come over there. He would be better off if he got his life together and got his mind together. But no, he ready to go. And that is what's exposed in this relationship. Why it's not a power struggle no more. You know, when the readers say this person copycat you, regardless if this person know who you are or copy you, if they can or not, what you have to remember is they try to be anything decent of a man or woman in this world. It's why they copying you because that's the category you fit. That's the level that you're on. So regardless if they know you're not, they still trying to copy you by trying to be on the level you're on or that they don't even know you're on. They still trying to be copy uh, emperors. They still trying to copy good men and women, kings and queens. They trying to portray like they that, and that's what you are. That's why sometimes a reader might say they copying you. No, they trying to be a person of your category, in your class. Yeah, in your motherfucking class. You don't have a power struggle with your heart and intellect. You don't have a power struggle with knowing who the fuck you are. You don't have a power struggle with telling people you're not good, doing good right now, that you don't have it. You're not... 
So they reminiscing about intimacy. So they having sex right now. That's why. So this karmic think everything is going good. And what they have has no value, remember? Because they think it's things are going good. Maybe this person, your person is having good sex with them again when they really thinking about you. Maybe this person is pretending that this karmic is you because I don't see why they wouldn't be if they're not emotionally and don't want to be physically away from you. I'm not going to play this with you. They ready to get on that horse and go. All you got to say is, on your march, get set, ready. That's what they want to hear. Yeah, so why this bitch over here talking about shit? Because she think because they fucking that everything is back to normal. Because remember, most single mothers, low-class ass mothers, just want to get fucked. And that's why they'll move any Tom, Dick, and Sally Sue women to into their homes. And these men just need somewhere to stay. And to me, this is the energy. Especially if this person has done prison time. It doesn't matter how long ago they was in prison. This is their mentality. So they think everything is good because they're having sex. So Terry, this could be you talking shit as well. About you not being the gold digger. Yeah, the communication could be in reverse with this air. Or you could have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius talking shit about you. Who gives a fuck? You got this page of pen, uh, cups in reverse. Somebody has no love. They don't use their intuition. They steady doing dumb shit. Like having sex and having this person think that they're in a relationship when they're not. Yeah, so they're not going through a breakup. So I guess the other day they was going through a breakup. So if you're an energy reader, they keep up with you, which is a beautiful thing. Because also we had pregnancy fall out. So we got people that's... So maybe this person, we had confession. Maybe this person want to tell you that they pregnant or brag about it. But they know fucking well that would be stupid. <laughs> because the relationship has no value. So what, are they free skeet right now if they pregnant? Okay, and what's going on? Uh-huh. Yeah, this person want to confess they love you and they want to be with you. This person want to confess that they want to do the spiritual twin flame soulmate journey. Ah! So this bitch is over here bitchy because you not a gold digger. They probably feel like you stupid. Because if I had a body like that, if I looked that good, I would have been using men and doing this and doing that. And who knows? You know, they got a lot of women that act like they body is the reason why they keep they got a man and they can fuck so good and they suck it so good. When to find out that this man is just using uh, have you thinking that you more than you are so that he can have a place to stay and keep playing the games with you regardless if you think this person came to this woman or man with good intentions or not they was not in the mind frame to say I'm going to be faithful I'm going to be honest I'm going to do this I'm going to do that they was repeating cycles and you wasn't going to do it and now they get the value of not playing games, about being honest. Stop trying to use people. This person probably got a dirty house, don't have their bills together, and your person wanted to feel needed, or this woman wanted control, so she let someone low class or went to someone low class so that she could control them and tell them what to do like it's another fucking kid in the house. So, you're not a narcissist. And why this person thinking about intimacy that has no value with your person, with this page, your person that has no love for them, and this person probably still going places they have no business to go to just to get away from them. So they fuck this bitch and that's all she needs. That's what makes her satisfied. But the lies are exposed probably where they going or where they really want to be. Where I wanna be. I text my baby girl a message. Said I won't be coming home. 
I'd rather be alone. So he probably make up things to say why he not coming home or why he like he's late. She doesn't fully understands me. Cause I rarely leave. Then it cheat. So this person probably don't even want to cheat or do all that shit no more. If she give me time, I could be the man she needs something. But there's a lot of lust inside of me. And we've been together since my... I don't know what he say. I really don't mean to hurt her, but I need some time to be alone. Because when it hurts, because when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad now that I want to leave. She's crying her heart to me. How could you let this be? I just need time to see. So, you where I want to be. So, you have not been with this person, and I said this in the beginning of my readings when I first started, is giving you an opportunity to actually see and heal and see where you want to be while this person elevation is, separation is elevation. You cannot avoid or ignore mental abuse. You have to move away from that shit. It's trauma. And this person has been going towards the trauma, trying to get their mind right. So, like I said, it was going to take this person longer for them to see where they want to be. It was going to take them longer because they didn't get that separation is elevation. They couldn't separate from these people. They couldn't afford to. Ha! They couldn't make up an excuse. To get away so they can get their mind right. So while this person probably drinking and doing the same shit with their friends, they've been distracted. Because they probably all thinking about you. They probably all thinking about the relationship. They probably all thinking about the relationship and the people that they had kids with and how they live in their life. But it's not going to be consistent. It's not like a personal journey one-on-one -on -one with them and God where they could think clearly. They've been distracted. It's taking longer. They purposely are distracting themselves. So this person think there's value because your person thinking about sex. Are they reminiscing about sex while they watching you? Your person want to leave. <laughs> your person ready to get the fuck out of there. That's sad. Let's keep going. Just imagine every time bills need to be paid, every time dinner needs to be cooked. This person don't want to be there. Who wants to pay bills and cook and clean and be somewhere they want to leave? Ah! Religious. God damn, I should turn my AC up. I'm up early, y'all. Wavy hair. I slept a lot. Been up since like 4 o'clock. It's all good. Hazel eyes. Baby face. Straight hair, baby face, man, the divine, divine masculine is ready to go. And he got tattoos, and this person think that everything is okay because they're having sex. <laughs> so maybe your person stopped having sex. Maybe your person stopped bending them over and just pumping it up. Maybe, you know. Maybe this person actually, uh, maybe your person, fluffy hair. Maybe your person is showing them some kind of emotion because we had six and six is reflect. That's because your person want to be with you. Yep. So you got to watch people when they start doing things different in bed. And this karmic probably thinking things are going back to how it was. So your, probably, your person probably having sex with them in a way that trapped them. And then what they'll do is the, uh, people that's controlling, they'll have good sex with you. And when you show that it was good or you let them start getting away with things that you wasn't before because, you know, they know you, they had sex with you. Then they'll hold that back from you. 
Because if they keep giving it to you, you they're going to have to come up with something else to control you. But if they keep it from you, then you're going to want it. And then you're going to start doing things to get it. And to me, this is what this karmic's doing. Yes, honey, let's do an energy read. Know that when I teach y'all or when I'm talking to y'all, I'm saying things that I've studied, read, or watched videos on. It's really not always my opinion or things that I've been through. It's psychological things I've studied. Even when we do a reading, I can pull all these cards for you, and I'm going to talk to you psychologically. Because some people be surprised when I talk like that to them. <laughs> or they be shocked when I can break down what's really going on because it's really what negative people do and what positive people do they just do it in a different way and once you learn to study it you naturally get the wisdom of it huh ain't gonna be triggered i'm gonna free you i'm gonna if you you're stuck or you keep talking about it or thinking about it because you don't know what's going on that's why i'm here and then you can label it trauma bond i might not use trauma bond and uh home stock syndrome and all the terminology but i just use it huh i just use it so you can understand it relate so i have to remember everybody hasn't done that or on that everybody on tarot know the spiritual laws but psychologically studies some people haven't done and that's what i'm here for you're paying me to do what you don't feel like researching it's a beautiful fucking thing you pay people to give you all because you're not gonna go pump the shit it's the same thing yeah you're not a fucking simp you're not doing shit for people that don't appreciate you and you're not talking just to be talking you take shit serious Yeah, you, you're not triggered by narcissists. People that can't talk direct where they have, it's not lies. It's a mental disorder. They want a trauma bond. That's not happening. Because you're not a simp. Yeah, guess what? It look like you fixed to meet someone that don't fuck around either. They might be nice, but they ain't stupid. Know the difference. They might have money or have good intuition. But I feel like this is you then. These narcissists want a trauma bond with you. That's what came out. They want a trauma bond with you because they know you got money or they know that you have strong intuition or when they meet you, they really like you. And the same thing you know that they like you for is the same thing they hate you for. Yeah, they like you predictable. They like you a good guy. They like that you're a good man. But then they become bored with you. Because you're predictable. And they think predictable people are boring. And they think the ones that are not. The ones that's finessing them. The ones that just telling them what they want to hear. Yeah. The bitch that blow up his phone and want them where he at. And the one that say they going to kill themselves and all that shit. They don't know that shit is all games. People playing with them. The one that go, you take out and she eat any kind of fucking way in front of you and she's eating up every fucking thing. The one that has no problem letting you know she's hungry. The one that has no pride. She wants you to get her hair and nails done and what you can do for her kid. Yeah, that bitch. Those bitches that y'all like. You're not trauma bonding with them. That's what they went to. A bitch that need pampers, milk for her baby, shit that she should have been having together and probably lie to people to get, just to get attention. Bitching for a good reason about these narcissists. You'll start seeing these people want to bond with you. Or this could be the twin flame. And it will be a trauma bond because if this person give it you right after a relationship, that means they're going to bring all that shit into the new relationship with you. And then you're going to be getting compared. Your crown will be com being, being compared because they compare y'all because they haven't got this last person out their system. Do you really think you want a motherfucker coming in your house comparing you to a rat and roach? Such and such used to cook you like this. A rat and roach. Do you really want to have sex with someone or knowing that you've been having sex before with someone or that you're having sex with someone that compare you to rats and roaches? 
Yet they want to keep you because you're the best. They want to keep you because you make them look good. You validate them. But they want to compare you and make you compete with rats and roaches. I don't think so. Homie don't play that. Homie don't play that. That lady, Miss Angie, Miss Stephanie, Susan, I found another on French suggesting if you've been keeping up with, with me, she has a another uh, page with uh, uh, the names that she told me. Then the other day, she was uh, talking about, hey, crazy lady. Well, I just looked at her and kept going, ain't she a narcissist? Don't narcissists try to act like nothing happened? You want to call me crazy lady like we cool? Bitch, didn't I just tell you the other day you look like you dying, ho? Do you really think I give a fuck to be your friend again? That's how narcissists are. They think that being nasty and mean to each other is love. So she probably think I really care about her because I told her she looked fucking dead. No, bitch, you look dead. I was not being nice. It's not that I give a fuck anymore. Let you go there, and then in the beginning, it always begins with you being nice. So what, you think uh, you have to be an asshole with these people for them to get that you care about them, or that you a person, or that you count, or that don't disrespect you? You have to always have your guard up about to slap a bitch? Who want to live like that? Because I don't know who she calling crazy. The other day I was a bitch or a hoe. She don't know I don't play like that. Every, these are people that do that shit on a regular so they think the shit is normal. When I see that hoe, I'm going to tell her slap a crazy lady, whoop a crazy lady ass. You, I was a bitch or a hoe the other day in the parking lot. When you see a bitch or a hoe, you slap one, bitch. I'm grown. I don't play like that. You a nobody ass hoe. These hoes are nobodies. And that's what your person is seeing. They over there comparing you to a fucking nobody. Why would you bitchy complain or want to call back or try to get along with them? Or see where shit is going to go? Even when you was talking to them. You got your own place. You doing your own fucking thing. You just there. Yeah, what did I say? They can't even run one deep. So you might got a bunch of dope dealers, people in your family that's in little groups watching you. People at the church, they all watching you. Not be a fucking simp. These people in this group know to stay in they fucking lane. These people that want to trauma bond with you because they see you got it going on and your intuition is potent. You got other people that's beautiful in your fucking life that are twin flames too. That ain't no fucking simps either and they ain't triggered either. Because they know what a narcissist is. So you got people that understand you. This is bullshit. Let's talk about the money, honey. I don't know why these lights get so hot. Let me move faster. I still got enough time to... This hot the most of it. I'm gonna have to turn on my fan. Hold on, one minute. I'll turn the fan this way. It's on. Y'all, I went to the store and caught 50 cents on sale. I got seven of these and uh, a Dr. Pepper one. I gave some away because I can't eat all that. Y'all love cotton candy. I was in heaven when I seen that shit. Love cotton candy. I even think it's sexy. But anyway, child. Deadline. So this person has deadlines to meet. Or oh, that's how they feel. 
Ooh, but they doing a job search. Unexpected income and unemployment. <laughs> we had this the other day. Unemployment, unexpected income. So this person could be selling drugs and doing shit on side. Remember, they a boss in reverse. The king of pinnacles is in reverse. They have deadlines to meet. Let's keep going. We had that yesterday. Let's see if it's on. But it's going to pop out. Yeah. They got the receipts. They got the bills. They got the pink notice. And shit is about to change. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. And it's for show. You can bet your ass. They got a deadline to meet. And it better be met. So that's what they... So I guess... Uh, this karmic is having sex with your person because I guess they're bonding a little through them having a problem and they trying to get it done together or something. That's what they bonded through and that's what they've been trauma bonding through. Problems. And those are the problems that you have solved and you be damned if you keep going over and over the same motherfucking problem that they've been having for motherfucking years. You're not trying to live check to check where about paying rent and shit every month. Or having a motherfucker that sell dope or doing shit on side where he can't even do income tax or put shit in his name or rent you a motherfucking car because he don't have a proper ID. All the fuck he got is an ID. Unexpected expenses. That's what's about to change. That's the deadlines they're going to have to meet. So this is their karma, remember? We have to watch them go over cycles. Okay? So they're having good sex. They think everything is gravy. They're trying to meet deadlines. They're getting their receipts and things still about to change. Because the karma is every time they get close to what they think they're going to get. Bam! And this could be the doctor bill. This could be the bill that they can't pay. Maybe this person got AIDS or HIV and they need their pills and they can't afford it. Or they don't have insurance or they never had a job. Maybe this person got something going on, but they about to have some unexpected expenses. You got the receipts that Bay is here. Bay, this is Bay, everybody. This is Bay. Yeah. So this person using a private part for some kind of insurance, and your person is about to change. So your person probably feel okay. Maybe they going around where your person want to leave. So let's see what kind of change that is. Because even if your person is going around reflecting love with this person, they still going to keep getting hit with unexpected uh, problems. And they don't even know that the person they with is their competition. <laughs> and they holding value to it. So this person trying to keep your person, you know, people self-subordinate. You know, you like... Why would you go fuck off the rent money now we both have nowhere to stay type of energy? This person don't give a fuck. They looking for some kind of insurance. And they have deadlines to meet. You know the ones they should be meeting on their own? You know the problems that you... <laughs> you have backup for like a credit card savings account. You have your family. You know, you know, you have back. <sighs> Okay, so if this is not you with Bay, I feel like this karmic is getting the receipts or getting shit done, trying to get out of debt, but we all know ain't gonna sh That's they karma. They gonna have problems back to back. <laughs> Every time, and I feel like they not gonna even be able well, maybe in some cases, like, they're going to be able to fix a problem and then it's going to be another problem. Or you know how you got the bill money, but now you got to uh, come up with money to pay the bill. They charge you to pay the bill, plus they charge you reconnection. Like, something to me. <laughs> so now they about to get hit. So I guess the more they fucking suck and be fake, the more they about to get hit with some changes of unexpected expenses when it comes to their responsibility because they're not taking care of. They still on some 
this artist shit. They do not want to admit that all they want to do is fuck and lay around and do nothing. And it's it's hard for them to get out that mind frame because that's all they've been doing. Your person couldn't make a decision or hit the deadline because they were too busy worrying about laying up, fucking, sucking, and worried about what karma doing, worried about what other people gonna think and all this shit. While they sitting up there broke with a person that's competing with them. To me, this is you. To me, you're hitting deadlines and you getting up early to take care of your business and you got the insurance in your life about these motherfuckers that want to compete with you. While this person trying to get some kind of receipts because they in trying to get some debt paid off, but, and this could be both of them. Like this bitch debt paid off because of your person. Who's winning? You see why it's not a lie no more, it's a disorder. Because how this person's got shit paid off but your husband, your man, your woman is in debt. Yeah, it's about to be some changes. Yeah. Because why this bitch thinks she's winning? Shit just going to keep getting worse for the, uh, uh, for keep changing and changing and getting worse. Which means they happy now, but they going to start getting scared or realizing that, damn, just when we get comfortable, just when shit gets settled, we having another problem. And this could be problems that they've had every month. Trying to pay the rent and shit. And now maybe the car breaking down. Maybe they're getting into it with the teachers about their kids or their kids acting up in school. But whatever it is, they fix to have problems back to back, back to back, and it's not gonna stop. Because your person is not moving with slow determination with the baby mama or baby daddy that's in reverse, that's holding value to sex and nothing. So while this person thinking everything is cool, your person about to lose their fucking mind. They thinking just because they fucking, everything is okay now. Let's get into these romantic angels. And let me move faster. I said that already. We got two more cards I could pull. I want to get this. That fan feel a little better. Mm. Healing family issues. Your love life is benefiting as you forgive your parents. Yep. It's not worth the wait. They came in reverse. Maybe your person is realizing now that it never was worth the wait. Because <laughs> they want to move. Are they moving with fast determination? Calling in your soulmate. Ha! <laughs> Who's doing that? So this person think everything's cool just because your person and them are having sex. You over there flirting and doing your thing, healing from your family. Or you have done that already. Ah! It's not worth the wait. Your person feel. Because what? This in reverse. No romantic feelings. They think because they have a sex with your person, everything is okay. <laughs> your person bend them over and bust one on their back or whatever they doing and they think everything is okay. Your person probably just ate a little, gave a little head and they think everything is okay. They probably thinking about you. Separation on the horizon in reverse because this person which is which we also got your partner might be physically, mentally a distant from you in reverse. Call me your soulmate. This person wants your ass. You out flirting and looking healing, glowing, looking beautiful, talking with sense, being direct, not lying, enjoying life, living it how you meeting deadlines. Huh. But somebody can't free themselves. That came in reverse. 
So maybe you working and you need to go out. Maybe you are happy, but you need to free yourself. Do some fun. Go to a carnival, you know. Maybe you're doing fun things in your home and you need to free yourself by getting out so you can meet people. And this is probably the energy that you was in before you met this person, which only made it worse. Because then you got quicker quickly probably attached to this person when you should have been out just meeting different people and I'm not saying that for everybody there's no romantic feelings for this person they fucking that think everything is okay cause they fucking it's not they're not even worth the wait for and there's no passion there's no understanding there's no there's none of kissing there's no hugging there's no cuddling after this person cannot free themselves if that's not you Calling in your soulmate separation. They don't want to separate. Oh, yeah, I pulled this. They want to express their love. That's what popped out. What else? These came in reverse. You're not codependent. That's why <laughs> you told your friend, your family, I'll spread my wings and I'll learn how to fly. <clears throat> I don't know the words. Got something, make a way and break away. That's a pretty song. I'll spread my wings and I'll learn how to fly. That's what you told your family. Huh. It will be, once this person leave this person that think everything is okay because they fucking, there will be no reconciliation. <laughs> it's not worth the wait. Your person want to play. <laughs> With they soulmate. Aww. They want to. They want to flirt and have fun with you. Oh. Um, they want to probably get goofy and have fun and laugh and shit. They over there with a prune. A party pooper. Let's get to love and then I'll let you go. And let me know if you enjoyed my videos. Like and subscribe and let me know what's on your mind in the comments. I really do adore those beautiful letters I got in my emails. And the people I've been doing readings with and the donations. Thank you so much. How could you ever forgive the mess I've made? You have forgiven them. That's why you're happy. You okay with them. You know that girl is happy or that man is happy just because they fucking. Maybe we've been through that stage where he fucking me so he must not. He fucking you because he's trying to have fun with you too. He's fucking you so he can go back and tell his friends and keep telling his friends that he's fucking two bitches. Because that's validation for him. He feels good to, for him and he's trying to keep his lie alive. This karmic has hurt them. They're in reverse. Your person ready to get out because they keep having problems financially and now your person know they're doing it on purpose. Or that they probably just don't uh, know how to admit to themselves that they need to save money, get a better job, and do something about it. And your person can see that and they probably feel like, well, all women are like this. Or, you know, uh, they wasn't going to find no one that was up on their P's and Q's. The passion I felt was enormous and I didn't know what to do. That could be this karmic. I can't express myself. Nobody's asking them to. Huh. They should be expressing themselves to the bitch that they fucking. Express yourself to that bitch. But that bitch ain't even in reality. Why do I feel this way? Why do I feel this why? They have hurt me because you feel betrayed. Just like the collective felt betrayed when you went back to this person and was sitting in their fucking face knowing that regardless if the collective had their shit together or not, they was going to make life easier for you. This person for y'all knew y'all for years and knew that you always had your shit together to go try to go save someone so they could feel needed and validated. So they could go control and be mean to somebody regardless if they want to be serious with this karmic or not. That was the intentions. I can't talk to you right now and you don't need to talk because they feel like the love, they have too many feelings. They too scared they gonna fuck it up. I got three more to pull before the time is up. I can't do this right now. Who cares? Please do what is best for your heart and that's what you've been doing. They need to follow their own advice. Why do I deserve so